all right all right uh shalom on uh first and foremost i want to give all praises all honor and all glory unto yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem all right i want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at great millstone Jewel. and i want to give a uh, peace greetings and salutations to all the lekakim you know that's pushing his word in uh, truth and sincerity you know throughout the four corners of the earth you know and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith you know being diligent in the truth you know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom, you know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And all Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rechach you know, uh, Adawan Rathaza, you know what I mean? It's Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know. In my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechach you know, it's going to be basically on how the Lord is going to give his people rest, all right, the, the nation of Israel. All right, you so-called, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? Also, the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations that lineage go back to the 12 tribes according to their fathers, all right? We are a true biblical Hebrew Israelites. And when our Lord Yahweh returns, all right, who the world ain't called Jesus Christ, he's going to gather the elect of Israel, all right, from here, from America, and from all the lands where the elect was scattered, all right? Because this place, America, is going to be destroyed, all right? This is a place that we serve and are serving out our captivity, all right? Well, we serving out, you know, throughout the world because why wow, we sinned against the Lord. The Lord, all right, one of the curses was well, we're going to serve our enemies in the land that we know of not. All right, we're going to discontinue from our heritage. We're going we're gonna to serve, all right, our enemies, which the enemy we serving now is Esau Eden, the so called white man. All right, but the roles is going to be reversed. All right, they're going into slavery, and all these heathens are going into slavery. All right, and we're going to rule over them. All right, we're going to have rest because why? Wow, we. We're in this society, all right, all right, which the Lord, he judged us because of our iniquities. But, hey, we we, we, we built this society. We built all these different empires, all right, but the Lord said he's going to give us rest, and that's the whole point of the lesson. So this is book Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. It says, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Jacob is, the, is talking about the Israelites, all right, and his name was changed to Israel. All right, our forefather Jacob's name was changed to Israel because he wrestled with an angel. And his, his name was changed to, um, Jacob's name was changed to Israel, which Israel in the Hebrew, the Lashwan Kodash means Yasharala. He's a prince of the power. All right, it says, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. So we're going to go back to our land that the Lord promised our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. And his 12 sons, all right, which is our fathers, which is our, our lineage, man. This is our history. This is our forefathers. I says, and we yet choose Israel, so the Lord's going to choose us, and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them. This is, this is going to the Israelite foreigners, all right? They're going to cleave, all right, to the believers. It says, and the strangers join with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Verse 2, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, which this is going to... What the other nations they're going to be our servants and handmaids it says and they shall take them captives whose captives they were and they shall rule over their oppressors so what the scripture says all right so we're going to take them captives who captives we were so we was in captivity now the role is going to be reversed they're going to they let us in captivity now they're going to go into captivity this is the book of revelation chapter 13 Revelation chapter 13 and verse 9, it says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So they led us into, into slavery. They got to go into slavery. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience. It's like he, he, that, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. It's like he says, Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And that's what we patiently waited for. All right. So they killed us with the sword. They got to be killed with the sword. They led us into captivity. They're going to have to be led into captivity. And this is the patience of the saints. Who are the saints? The Israelites. This is what we're patiently waiting for. All right. So we're going to rule over our press, our over our oppressors. Verse 14. I said like it. Isaiah 14 and verse 13. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 3. It says, And it shall come to pass in the in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. That's the point. The Lord's going to give us rest from our sorrow and from thy fear and from thy hard bondage where 
wherein thou was made to serve. All right. So the Lord said he's going to give us rest from our sorrow and from our fear and from the hard bondage all right, that we've been serving in. All right. This devil has been ruling all over us all right, with rigor. All right. The scripture says, all right, Daniel 7. Bear with me. This book of Daniel chapter 7 and verse 25, it says, And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Which is talking about America. Alright, just look at Donald Trump. Look at man, look at these people, man. It says, He shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and to think the change times and laws, and they shall be given, and they shall be given it to his hand unto a time and times and divided at times. All right. That's going into what? All right. That what? 350 years. All right. From what? What? 1619 or what? 1970, 1969. All right. The Lord woke us up. All right. But the point of that whole me bringing that out is what? He shall wear out the saints of the most high. We being wore it out. I to wake up fucking five in the morning to go to work. All right, in the kingdom, we're not going to be laboring. All right. All right, we're not going to be out here doing this. The scripture says, we we'll say he's going to give us rest, which we just brought that out. But uh, Amos, man. Amos 9. Verse 9. Working for fiat currencies. All right. What's the Lord said? Well, we were subject to payments. It's like it. Amos now. You know, this is part of our punishment. But the Lord gonna give us rest, man. This ain't gonna be too long. That's why we're waiting for this chip to be made mandatory, man. We supposed to be putting continue putting curses up on this place. Continue um praying to the Lord. How a shy now will deliver us. Alright. But yeah, this devil has been what? Reaping. Reaping, all right, from our from from our labor, man. This is the book of Amos chapter nine, verse um. Amos chapter nine, verse thirteen. All right, and it says, "Behold, it's like it. Behold means to look." It says Amos nine and verse thirteen. It says, "Behold, the days come." Said the Lord, Yahweh, which the Lord name his the Heavenly Father name is Yahweh. Alright, that's what the word we call God. His name is Yahweh. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper. So who's the plowman? Us. Alright, who's out in those fields? Alright. Uh, uh planting, you know, uh the the fruits and so you see northern kingdom. Alright. And the fields gathering all these, all the fruit, doing the landscaping and things. Who's building everything? Our people, the plowmen. And who's reaping? All right, Esau, the so called white man, he's reaping. So, like, so it says, the plowman shall overtake the reaper in the tread of grace, him that's uh, in the tread of grace, in the tread of grace, him that sow seed in the mountain shall drop wine, and all the hills shall melt. All right, and I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel, and they shall build the waste cities and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and drink. They shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof. They shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of them. So what? We're going to be in the, in the kingdom with these, these heathens. They're going to be, all right, the plowmen. They're going to be planting our garden. They're going to be planting our, uh, our seeds. They're gonna build up our, our uh, uh, the Israel because that land of Israel is gonna be destroyed too, but it's gonna be built up. America is gonna be destroyed, but it's never gonna be inhabited again by humans, only desert creatures. So they're gonna be planting vineyards. The scripture said Jerusalem shall be built with sapphires and emeralds and precious stones, all right, the streets of gold, all right, all right, 
Jerusalem is going to be beautiful. The whole earth is going to be refreshed. That's why the scripture said we look for new heavens and new earth, where the righteousness, this fire is going to cleanse the earth, man. And these heathens, their first job is to go out and, and pick up them dead bodies because the scriptures, go, scriptures say the slain of the Lord is going to be many. A lot of people are going to get put to death, and that's a good thing. They're wicked. All right? But you, you heathens, y'all going to slavery. And what? We're going to be resting. We're going to be... We're going to be perfect. The Lord is going to put his laws, such commandments, our inward part. We're just going to teach y'all the, the laws, and we're going to beat the laws into you. We're going to rule you with a rod of iron, man. We're going to be ruler. We, we're going to be the real kings, the real slave masters, man. Amos 9 and verse 15. And I will plant them upon their land. So it's all about the promises. The Lord's going to bring us back into our land. And I will plant them upon their land. Just like it. It's like Amos 9 and 15 says, and I will plant them upon their land and they shall no more be pulled up out of the land, out of their land, which I have given themselves the Lord thy power. So the Lord is going to give us, we're not going to be going because only the way that uh, the reason why we got plucked up our land and went into captivity because we sinned against the Lord. But the Lord said he's no longer going to pluck us out of the land. We're going to well there. We're going to have a rest. And our seeds gonna multiply. Right, we're gonna have a lot of children. That means a lot of sex in the kingdom. We're gonna have a lot of women, a lot of wealth. All right. And we're gonna be chilling. The Wadi Hao Ba Shima Sha. We ain't gonna have to worry about the damn heathens trying to overtake us. All right. The heathens, uh, we're sharing our wealth with the heathens, man. Well, they're going to have their, they're going to, we're going to, Chip said, well, we, we're going to lend to them. Right now, they lend it to us. We got to go to them for loans and shit like that, man. Go to them for that money. That's why they're, they're ruling right now. But we're going to be ruling, man. All right. They're going to have to come to us. All right. And that's what we're waiting for, man. So let's go a couple more, man. Uh, rest. Said they're remaining in the rest of in the book of Hebrews. <laughs> Hebrews at the four. In verse 9, just get to the point. Hebrews 4 and 9, it says, Therefore remaineth, it's like there remaineth therefore a rest to the people of the Most High. So there's going to be a rest, man. You're going to actually keep the Sabbath. You can't keep the Sabbath. You can't keep the laws 100% in this place. You got to work on the Sabbath. That's why this place is off. They don't have a, they don't have a rest day. <laughs> This is shit is just like 24 hours, like, do what do, do what thou wilt, man. All right? All right? All day, every day, especially down here in this wicked-ass South Florida, man. Babylon, the great period, but this shit, 24 hours, folly. All right, it's supposed, to, it's supposed to be a day to keep the Sabbath. We're going to keep the Sabbath in the kingdom. That shit. When you heathens, y'all going to love that day. Y'all going to love the Sabbath. <laughs> all right because y'all ain't gonna get y'all ass beat on that date man but yeah but that's they're remaining the rest for the people of the most high there's, there's gonna be a, a rest man you won't most like it i'll see Jeremiah 33 and verse 16 says, In those days shall Judah be saved, and Jerusalem shall dwell safely. And this is a name wherewith she shall be called the Lord our righteousness, man. So what? The Lord said we're going to be cool, man. We're going to dwell safely. All right? 
Deut uh, Jeremiah 32 and verse 37, Behold, I will gather them out of all the countries, whether I have driven them in my anger and in my fury. So the Lord is going to gather the elect from the four corners of the earth. He says, Behold, I will gather them out of all the countries, whether I have driven them in my anger and in my fury and in my great, it's like an end, in and great wrath and i will bring again i will bring them again unto this place and i will cause them to dwell safely all right when you is safety you you at rest you at ease all right all right you at ease and that's what the lord is gonna gonna have us man at ease chilling man it says um ezekiel 30 Ezekiel 34 verse 28 says, and they shall no more be a prey. Ezekiel 34 and 28 says, they shall no more be a prey to the heathen. Neither shall the beasts of the land devour them, but they shall dwell safely. None shall make, in socket, none shall make them afraid. All right. All right. So none's going to make us afraid, man. So yeah, man, that was a point, man. The Lord gonna give us rest from our sorrow, from the hard punish that that we was made to serve. All right. So this captivity is temporal. All right. We're we're being judged for, for our sins, but the Lord, He said He's gonna ultimately have mercy on us, and that's what we want. We wanna have mercy. We want the Lord to have mercy on us. All right. And forgive us and deliver us from this fire. All right. So we can. Rest, man. You ain't gotta be worried. Yeah. You, know? you ain't gotta be worried about nothing. Just, just serving the Lord and praising the Lord, man. Rejoicing in the Spirit, man. Seeing your people good. Seeing the earth in order. The animals and the animals rejoicing. The trees rejoicing. You know. So yeah, you know, this is just that was a, a Lord willing. This lesson was edifying. You know, this is my spirit though. We need rest. And the Lord's going to give us rest. But we know we got to go through what Jacob's trouble. We got to go through tribulation. All right, you got to go through hell. We're going to have to go through all right, a hard time. But the Lord said he got a Jacob's trouble. The Lord said the elect going to be saved out of it. All right. All right. So we ain't got nothing to worry about. We just got to keep praising the Lord and keep serving him. Keep pushing his word out. Keep, continue being brotherly. And Lord willing, hey, we be delivered. All right. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. Of the nation of Israel, you know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rechakodash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruel, and I want to give a peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim that's pushing his word and truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Akim, keep pushing, keep it doing, Shalom.